Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Command Combat Battle Reports. Today we've got England versus, wait for it, the Mongols. And those of you who don't get that uh, reference, you need to watch Crash, Crash Course by the Vlog Brothers. Easily the best uh, show on uh, YouTube. Actually no, the second best. This one's the best show. So the second best, well, actually after uh, um, Geo Hunters, which is my other show. So Crash Course by the Vlog Brothers, easy third best show on the internet. Um, a, where you get all these histories and uh, you learn about why the Mongols are the exception. We're up on this hill with the Mongols. I think what is this 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 Khan? Yeah, this is Khan's guard. So Genghis Khan is in there with with some guys over there. Uh, they're idle, lazy bums. They have they they have a bunch of guys here guarding their rocket artillery, which did really well in another battle that we did. Uh, Mongol heavy lancers and some uh, archers guarded also by these horse archers so it looks like they're going to try to hold this hill while meanwhile holding uh, a bunch of infantry down this valley the uh, the British up against them have these retinue longbowmen some armored swordsmen heavy billmen English niggets English knights English knights templar and generals bodyguards so it looks like they're going to try to take this oh it looks like they got some guys over here are going to try to go up this hill and some right or maybe they're just going to hold Looks like they'll probably go after this line. So you got the spearmen at the front and some Mongol infantry behind. So they're going to try to sort of have this hill down here on the bottom while the rocket in the rocket artillery bombards them from up above. Let's take a look and see how well this, this thing happens. Oh, here the Mongols have come down on their flank with some horse archers. Knights Templar are coming up here to get a strike on the flank, I think. Unless they have something in the, in the woods here. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, it looks like they're going to actually try to ride around them. It's interesting with heavy uh, heavy cavalry, it doesn't usually do that. It's usually uh, light cap that does that. But here we go. Coming right into their rear. Oh, they're just completely ignoring the lancers and going right at the uh, infantry behind into this tree that I... Oh, okay, never mind about that. There we go. Oh, man, they're just swarming with their uh, heavy cavalry. And here, come the, uh, inf here comes the infantry charging up there. They probably want to get into those trees because then they, that rocket artillery can't get in there. Can't get them in there. We would, we would think at least. It's up here. Nefetun. Nef of course, my uh, pronunciations are awful, so uh, feel free to put in the comments the proper pronunciations when I put you in certain languages and names of guys and such. Oh, it looks like the English have uh, pushed through in this part. Let's see if we can get down here tree level, or below tree level. And they're kind of making it up, the, trying to get up this hill here. All right. How's the rest of the fight going? Oh, yeah, it looks like they've broken through that Mongol line. Well, imagine that. Ooh. By the uh, Khan's guard, but there's got to be some, uh, probably the rockets that hit, hit that, that group of knights and they went running. But the rest of them have broken through here. Oh, okay, that's the uh, Mongol, uh, Mongol retreating. The unit of Mongols retreating. English is bringing up everything. They are just racing up this hill as quickly as they can, which would be quite difficult in that heavy armor. Oh, running, running, going right by Captain Kedu and his uh, Mongol cavalry there. It's interesting, the English are kind of using one unit to hold. They have only half their men left. They're using one unit to hold while another unit runs on by, which is probably a pretty good strategy. They need to get up that hill. Oh, all of the, uh, Trust his warriors will avenge him and not despair. Oh my god, they killed Genghis Khan. Well, these English might do pretty well. I had my money on the uh, on the Mongols, but 
English have managed to get up this hill. Broken the uh, the Mongols' lines and are they've made it? They've made it to the top of this hill. Meanwhile, oh, infantry has actually made it even further, and they are charging the rocket batteries. The guy just seemed to be holding his cart like nothing was wrong. Like uh, there was like you know fruits in there. He want some fruit? Oh, cruel fate! We fruit, have lost half our warriors. Oh. So the knights got all the way up there, went through all that, you know, trudging up there in their armor, and got there and went, ah, screw it, we're leaving. But their uh, cavalry has made it, so. And, you know, it seems to be their strategy here. They, they used one unit to kind of bludgeon their way up, and another unit to push through, so that kind of did it. Well, after making it up there, they, it's almost Our like they all left. Oh, here we go. General. Now his men will fear us. Well, I, mean, I guess the one group up there that got up there was the uh, king's or the uh, uh, general's bodyguard, which presently got destroyed. Ah, but here we go. You saw these guys earlier. These billmen were uh, holding off some of the um, some of the Mongols while the rest went by. Man, and then they run. You know what was probably happening is they're just so exhausted by the time they get up there that, that the uh, Mongols just barely have to touch them and they all get scared away. And the Mongols have really good morale, so... Pretty scary guys, too, and I, I'd imagine they don't smell very good. Sorry if you're a Mongol and I just offended you. Oh, and there go the... Yeah, there go the English knights that... Uh, that had made it up there. Well, I get the, the, the king's bodyguard, but then, or the general's bodyguard, Those but I guess once the general's gone, they don't have much of a, a purpose anymore. Let's see if these English knights can uh, do anything. They've actually gotten up to the high ground, and uh, now they're pushing the Mongols off that hill. All right, well, there we go then. Oh, there's still is, is a fight going on down here, I guess. All the people who retreated down the hill are having a fight. The spillover. And here come those, uh, what were those, the English uh, billmen. Still uh, running down that hill. Now we've got this. You know what, that rocket, the, whoever those guys are, the rocket artillery guys, they're not well armored and they don't have that much in the way of swords, but they keep scaring everybody away. They must just have a massive smell. Because they, what was that, four or five charges of people that got up there and by the time they just, like, touched them and they ran away. So now we got another group of, of heavy billmen this time. Let's see if they can do anything. Uh, 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 we're gonna fight you. We're gonna kill you. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, there's an arrow came in. And they run again. There is something about this uh, group of guys running those rockets. They're just, just too scary. They just can't handle it. Every time they get up to them, they touch them a little bit and then go, ah, and go running down the hill again. Looks like that some of them are regrouping down at the bottom of the hill, though, so we'll see what they're going to do. Oh, no, that's Mongols. <laughs> they're regrouping down there. They're like, ah, we slaughtered them. Is there anything left here? Any of the English left? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, it's a little bit of a lame victory here for the Mongols. I mean, it looks like the Mongols are going to win this, but it's a little bit lame seeing it. Oh, wait a second! Oh, Mongols coming back. Okay. You have some English up there. Captain Humphrey. Can Captain Humphrey do anything? Or the Armored Swordsman. Oh, no, here we go. English. Oh, the English Captain. Ah, here we go. They, I, I missed it. I'm sorry. I had the camera away. But these uh, these knights came down and finally got rid of those uh, those rocket guys. After all those attacks, I had it turned away right at the time when they finally did it. 
Sorry about that, everybody. But I thought the English were done for. I didn't know there were any more still up here. And they're slaughtering the, uh, the Mongol cavalry. Who was it? Well, that guy was trying to retreat and he just got killed. What are these guys? The Knights Templar. Well, there you go. Leave it to the Knights Templar. Do not be scared away by the smell. Our soldiers must be fighting like old women. See now how our go after hovers around victory yeah. like a bee around a blossom. Oh, and they missed. Oh, it looks like some armored swordsmen made it up here, too. So maybe the English will actually start reinforcing this hill here. Now we're going to have a reverse battle with the English holding the hill and the Mongols at trying to come up and retake it. By the way, you might hear a musical accompaniment here by Jamie, who has uh, just come back from her hard, stressful work. That is very appropriate too. They're all getting to the top of this uh, this hill instead of climbing stairs. They, We're available for bar mitzvahs. Exactly. Only bar mitzvahs though. Yeah, not birthday parties or weddings. Our last one. Oh man. Things I did with that uh, those guests. Talking about the Swedish one. Oh well, yeah, you know. I got you in trouble the first time. <sighs> that was fun. But never again. Ah, I love the way these guys run downhill. Ah, they, they, I'm going to run like a little girl. I'm going to tickle you. Oh, they're charging cavalry. That's effective. Guys in heavy uh, metallic armor charging men on horses wearing no armor. Oh. That's going to work. Yeah, we're gonna kill you, we're gonna kill you. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, oh, oh. That's a cliff. I don't wanna go over that cliff. Maybe they finally realize they can't quite do anything. They need some cavalry. And when speaking of cavalry, here comes the Mongol cavalry. We're the exception! I'm wearing my uh, Wear the Exception t-shirt right now. No, I'm not. I'm just lying about that. I don't actually have one. I want to get one, though. From Crash Course, the third best show on the internet. See the enemy run well, it looks like they charge their own guys. And like, oh. We will leave nothing behind but widows and orphans. Well, the English kind of had that hill, but they kind of went down that hill and got then slaughtered. Went, went down to the bottom of it, chasing that cavalry, and got slaughtered. What happened to the knights up here? I don't see them. I don't know what happened to them. But there was uh, I was so busy chasing those swords guys who were chasing cavalry themselves, and that's it. It looks like the um, the Mongols must have finished them off somehow. They, they, they it's their cavalry just came in and did it, and did it, which is typically what they did. That's how they did it historically, and that's how they usually win games. Well, that'll about do it for us here. I'll get us up to the top of this hill so we can get one last big view. Maybe we'll figure out what happened to those English knights. Uh, but uh, be sure to subscribe to us and uh, watch us on uh, commandcombatreports.com. Watch us on Facebook and Twitter. And um, 